News for Jacks reporter Janice Harris joining us live from the St. Johns County Emergency Operations Center. We're planning for the storm. It's happening right now, Janice. Yes, they are planning right now, Joy. And this is also where we learned that it is over 100,000 people that are being told to evacuate beginning at 6 a.m. in the morning tomorrow. They're being told to take this seriously and to prepare right now. Thousands of St. Johns County residents along the coast are being told to evacuate beginning at 6 a.m. Wednesday. That will include zones A, zones B, including the entire city of St. Augustine, and zone F, south of County Road 214. That evacuation order does include residents living in boats, RVs, and mobile homes. Jordan Spires owns a Marine Service Center in St. Johns County. She's helping as many boaters as possible for free. Off of a lift, any boats in wooded neighborhoods, we, uh, we told them to come park here. We have no trees, lots of open space, and figured we have one of the safest facilities in St. Johns County. So we got our, uh, we got our community together and got them here. As people get their property prepared, they will need a place to stay. Shelters will open for those that need to evacuate beginning Wednesday at noon. Pachetti Bay Middle School, Southwoods Elementary, Pedro Menendez High School will all be shelters. Sheriff Hardwick is encouraging people to evacuate for their safety and the safety of others. Hardwick also wants them to be prepared if flooding continues for days. That you prepare to be gone for 72 hours or more. We don't know what kind of damage so they're going to be sustained. As thousands of people are told to leave the coast, St. John's County emergency crews are getting ready to brace for Ian. And if you're in St. Johns County, you saw the list of those three locations for the shelters. But I've been told by officials today, if they need more space for more people, they will open up more shelters. It's important to note any government office that you may have thought you could take care of some business with tomorrow. Those will be closed beginning tomorrow all the way through Friday. So you probably won't be able to take care of anything like that until Monday. Reporting live in St. Johns County at the Emergency Office Operations Center, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station. All, All right. right, Scott, thank you. And we want to give you a live look right now through our Jack's Beach Sky Cam. At this point, you cannot see the beach. This is not live. We're told this was a short while ago. Video of... Wow. Yeah, th this looks like uh, some damage from uh, what's happening. Beach erosion out mm -hmm. there. Uh, obviously, maybe some chairs there. I don't think those are walkways uh, that have been torn apart, but it certainly could be. We've seen that in the past with some of the damage we've seen from tropical storms. In this case, Ian, uh, which as uh, just at the top of uh, our 5 o'clock hour had re-strengthened into a hurricane once again. Unfortunately, we are able to bring you these pictures. This is a live look of Jack's Beach right now. We're able to bring you this mayor curry saying the beaches are closed so all these folks that are out here on the beach that you're looking at they should not be there right now the beaches are closed due to safety reasons as you can imagine because of hurricane ian the mayor saying that this is really he said a dumb move so please do not follow these people because if they need rescuing that just ties up resources for others and so we've seen rough surf, high tides or high winds all day. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris shows us the conditions out there within the past hour. The winds are very strong out here at Jacksonville Beach. You can see it's overcast and you can tell how strong the wind is based upon the ocean right now. You can see the wind is so strong. It's really pushing the sand further inland. There's quite a tall drift. And I want to show you this as well. You can see how much the sand is being pushed up as you walk a little bit closer to get off of the coastline. But this is the consistent feeling that we're getting out here with the rain and the wind. It is not fun out here at all. We just saw two people on the beach that were running back in. Not sure why they were out here. And if you look behind us, you'll see there are some spectators, a couple of cars that are coming out, just driving by to see what's going on. This is definitely not the place you wanna be. There's sand blowing around, getting all over our hands and our coats. And again, the rain, though it is very light, it feels like little tiny pellets. So you definitely don't wanna be out here. The wind is picking up with every round, pushing my photographer around as well a little bit. So this gives you a really good idea 
of just how bad it is out here, even though it is just a tropical storm. Reporting from Jacksonville Beach, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station. Exact Track 4D, the Weather Authority's secret weapon against severe storms. The most cutting edge weather technology in Northeast Florida and South Georgia. Janice, that picture perfect weekend continued <laughs> today. Yeah, you see it behind me. I was out there earlier this morning and I absolutely enjoyed it. And hopefully you got a chance to get outdoors as well. I'm encouraging everyone to get outdoors. That's the thing you really need to do because it's just been so nice outside. And it's one of those things where we're gonna have a week that's gonna be like that and hopefully you can enjoy it. At the beach, you see this beautiful live view at Jack's Beach, 78 degrees with a north northeast wind about 17 miles per hour, if not lighter than that. And you can see right now, the only real concern we still have is as far as those coastal advisories and the coastal flooding concerns, and those go deep down into the Flagler County area. And anything that is connected to the St. Johns River, any of the tributaries, they're also being impacted by that because of what happened with Hurricane and Tropical Storm Ian. But moving forward, if you do decide to go out to the ocean to check out the view throughout the rest of tonight, and also tomorrow, remember, there are still those rip current risk. They are now dropped from high to moderate, but there's still a concern, so you want to be safe outside. Taking a look at the wind speeds, 8 miles per hour in Brunswick, the same in Jacksonville and St. Augustine, 14 miles per hour, and then further inland, Lake City, 9 in Gainesville, 10 miles per hour, and those temperatures are comfortable, and it is pretty nice outside. You still have a chance to get out there and enjoy it before sunset. 71 degrees in Brunswick, 79 in Jacksonville, 77 in Waycross, Georgia. So take Taking a look hour by hour as you get into the evening, those temperatures drop, the sun sets. It's going to get into the mid 60s, then the low 60s, and then you see it's going to drop down to about 60 degrees at 6 a.m. It could also get as low as 59 degrees, so you'll definitely want a jacket. It's going to be cool out. Monday, once you get up in the morning, you see that 59. That's why you might need that jacket. And then as you go coming away from lunchtime, it's going to get into the low to mid 70s. And then checking again as you're heading at home. You're going to get into those low 70s, mid 60s, and then into the evening, it's going to be in the low 60s. Two things we are watching right now as we're tracking the tropics. We have this first disturbance we see here. This is the one that we're really going to pay attention to. In the next 48 hours, it's only a 30% chance of developing. 70% though in the next five days. The other disturbance that we're looking at is about 20% over the next 48 hours, but 30% over the next five days. So not as much of a concern, but of course we'll be watching the tropics for you. 60 degrees tonight, no chance for rain, and look at this seven-day forecast. You are in the mid-70s going no higher than really the low 80s. This is absolutely comfortable, and again, you know what you don't see? rain. There's a very low chance for it, but that's only on Tuesday, and it only is going to affect a very small portion of the coastline. We'll tell you about that coming up tonight at 10 and 11. And if you ever want a weather update, just go to Jacksonville's Country, WQIK 99.1.